This is AF1US with the T70 Alpha. All right, I've taken out my repeater directory and I've got two different repeaters here in Idaho. One is in Grace and one is in Howe. The reason why I got these is because uh, they have tones and I want to show how you put the tones into the repeater to make the repeater or into the radio to make the repeater work. So the way this works is this is in the, the Grace repeater. It's 146.800 with a negative offset. It also needs an 88.5 hertz tone to operate. The E means that it operates on emergency power uh, in case the um, power goes out, that repeater will still work. Good to know. This is the call sign of the repeater, and this is the uh, sponsor of the repeater. So these are not very important, but these are the numbers you'll hear when it goes off on the ID. The next one is the Howe repeater. Uh, it's very much the same, and it uses a 100 hertz tone, and that L means that it's a linked repeater. I'm not sure where it's linked, but it's probably linked into the Idaho um, uh, West Coast repeater system. Welcome back. Uh, now we'll look at the radio. Uh, this is the ICOM IC-T70A dual band transceiver. You'll see it's a very simple radio. It's got a keypad on the front, and we'll go over quickly a couple of little controls that we're going to be using. This is the set key. As you see, there's a blue key underneath that. Uh, the, the function keys, if you push and hold, that locks the keypad. And every, nothing works except the volume. So push and hold again, it'll take that off. So it goes the same with all these other ones on here that you can you can clearly see that that's the monitor key, um, but on the top is the band key. It changes it from two meter to 70 centimeter. Um, this is the high, medium, and low power key, and also the scan key, and this is the VHF memory and the call channel key. Over here to the side, um, you see it also has a tone scan key and a tone key, and then at the bottom is a duplex key. Right now, this radio is set up for automatic duplex. So if you see that we we have dialed in 146.7, it automatically goes to a negative offset. And as I move it, the light comes back on. You see duplex minus. So that's what we want. Also, there's a 40 there, but there's no memory or MR on top of that. So we're in the VFO mode, the variable frequency oscillator. We can tune through the band as we want. So let's go back to the what we had talked about earlier, we want to take a look at the the Grace repeater, 146.800 with an 88.5 tone. So we want to dial to 146.800, and you can get there two ways. You can do that, or you can go 146.800, and you'll get there. So we are at a negative offset, like it said in the book, we want to be a negative offset, but there is no tone. You would see a T in the um, column up there. I'll just use the volume control to change the light, turn the light back on. There's no tone. So you can turn the tone on by pressing and holding this button, but we don't know that the, what tone we're using. So we're going to go over to set. And the first thing that comes up is R tone, which is repeater tone. There's the RT right there, and it's got 159.8. Well, we need 88.5, so we will dial down until we see 88.5. And then go ahead and hit this, and it'll take you back there. Well, we still don't have the tone there, so what we'll do is we'll push and hold, and the T shows up. So right now the 146.8, and it says duplex minus. By the way, when it says duplex minus, what that's telling us is that it is going to shift, when you transmit, it's going to shift 600 kilohertz down. That's the standard for 2 meter. If it says plus, it's going to shift 600 kilohertz up. Well, as you see, I moved the, the uh, frequency, and it took my tone away, so I'll put the tone back. And then this key right here, which you'll see is a memory write key. I'm gonna put this frequency with the tone in preset 40. So I'll push and hold, 
and it flashes and it says 40 is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and push and hold again. And then if I go back to MR, it'll let me tune down to 39 and then back it shows you that 146.8 with the negative offset and with the tone is in preset 40. If I go this, it'll take me to call channel and then take you to my weather channel. Thanks for North Carolina, of course. Highs in the lower 60s. So I hit that again. We'll go back to the uh, VFO and then memory. So that's it. That's how you, you uh, load up a frequency and you save it to memory uh, with a tone and an offset in the ICOM T70 Alpha. Thanks for watching. This is AF1US saying 73.